Hey everyone, it's Mega400 with more Yoshi Story. And I'm not going to use the White Shy Guy yet, at least. So, um, let's get right into the gameplay. It's the Jelly Pipe. Uh, for whatever reason, this is in the cavern area. Uh, and the background music is a Yoshi rap. Yeah, of all, of all the things you would just find in this game, it's, it is a rap. Yoshi. Okay, but it's pretty cool. I, I have to admit, that's pretty cool. I mean, this game has just a variety of awesome music. Uh, this level can be a pain to an extent. Um, you have these guys that if you get hit by them or if you eat them, they will poison you. Essentially, uh, we have those jelly ghosts back from uh, Yoshi's Island. I'm actually, after playing this game, I'm surprised at how many Yoshi's Island stuff they uh, had in this game. Like, I thought, like, a lot of it, like, they didn't have a, as much as it they were. Like, a lot of the enemies are from Yoshi's Island as well. Uh, and I'm, like, a little bit surprised that they, uh, had so many of, uh, I don't know what my Yoshi was doing there. Like, I was, like, are you hyperventilating? I'm not, I'm not sure. Do you want a sucker? Um, so let's continue onward. Um, I, uh, yeah, there's not, there's not much else to say about this level. It's basically, uh, a jelly-filled pipeline with rap music. That basically sums it up. Oh, do Yoshi. Um, so let's uh, think about some topics. Um, um, Haiti, because that was a topic someone asked about. Uh, Haiti. Uh, anyone who has not or has been living under a rock, uh, they suffered a horrible earthquake. Uh, and have their whole like uh, it's the whole country has been devastated. Um, it's it's just sad. Like it's like times like these when like someone gets uh, uh another uh country or human or anyone or even not even just human, just anyone is under hard times. You know, uh, I think that us being uh, as intelligent as we are, we should have the moral values to. Uh, help people out and put aside differences. Just you know, help people out in these kind of tragedies. Um, things that people can prevent. Like other people could be so cynical and say, no, 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 they can do it themselves. Why should we help? But I think we're in a day and age where we should, you know, at least give out a hand. And some people are. There's other people who have been who have said rude comments, which I won't get into that because I don't want to get into uh, political ideologies. But. It's just, it's a horrible thing that happened to them, and I just think that people should be more supportive. Now, right here is a slug. Um, he is easy. All you have to do is shoot an egg right in front of his eyes, and he will die three times. Like, I wasn't sure exactly how at first, but just three times in front of his eyes, the explosion will blind him, and he will die. And you will get a heart. His heart. The slug heart. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it, it just in times of horrible tragedies, uh... I mean, it would just be nice if we could, if, if, like, there was no wars and people could just all get along, but, um, since that isn't the case, I think the least we can do is, in times of national, or nat national, uh, natural disasters, lend support to people, uh, realize that we're all, uh, we're, that we're supportive, and also, maybe just me, but it seems like, odd enough that, like, almost every year there seems to be some nat horrible natural disaster, like we had, uh, uh, um, Hurricane Katrina, then you had uh, the whole uh, tsunami, I think, in uh, uh, wherever it was that was uh, happened a while ago. I just, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I'm thinking that uh, if, for anyone who's think, who doubts that there's uh, something going on with the environment, I think proof enough that there seems to be a lot more natural disasters happening, I think that maybe is proof enough that something is... Uh, Something's different because it didn't seem like there used to be that many natural disasters uh, in history, at least. But anyway, uh, back to Yoshi's story. Um, not much else to talk about this level. There's, it's pretty annoying, but it's not that hard. Um, 
and just watch out for random things. Uh, I read, I've read in several places that saying that oh, there's uh, a black Yoshi egg in this level, but uh, I, no, I don't think there is. I've, I've checked every corner of this room, like I, I just horribly like some of the guides. Like there's not that many good guides out of, for this game. I had the original official player's guide, but I don't know what happened to that. I used to have that one, as long with uh, I had a uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 player's guide as well as a uh, Yo or Pokemon Stadium. I think I had that too. Which I still only beat that. I never beat that game fully. I'm still, I think, the Master Cup. I still need to do that. Like, soon. Which I can do that. Use the segue. Um, someone asked, uh, wanted me to discuss about Pokemon. If I like it. Yeah, of course I like it. I love Pokemon. Um, I know there's probably people out there saying, Pokemon? <laughs> Why would you like Pokemon? No, I love Pokemon. Um, the thing about Pokemon, though, is it's very... First of all, they use the same uh, storyline the whole time, but it's very simple. It almost, like, it's similar to uh, Smash Bros. in the sense that each game is basically improvements, and then that's about it. There's not much else added. It's basically just an improvement, like adding new things. Um, and not so much new gameplay. But, um... Yeah, uh... I, it's still enjoyable. It's it's good. I, 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 you would think that it wouldn't be as good as it is, but Pokemon is really a great uh, game. It was also my first RPG, um, and really for a long time the only game I played on Game Boy. Like the I, like it was the one thing I had a Game Boy, and all I had was Pokemon, and I just played Pokemon on my Game Boy. Um, and and it, yeah, the other thing was nice with the Game Boys back then were really they didn't have the light screen, so it was hard to see. But with Pokemon, that didn't really matter, you know. That wasn't like a platforming game where you could ha you would have a hard time seeing. Um, uh, right here is Boos. With Boos, uh, they will die only when you take their melons. Their their boo booties. Uh, their booty as in like treasure, not uh, uh, booba. So um, but yeah, Pokemon. I, I just really um. It's it's I think it's a good RPG for beginners to be honest. It's like a beginning RPG, it's like a really simple to get into, and it really uh, you really don't even need to have that much skill to play it. Which is kind of a, a, a one thing that was like uh, for a while I used to be like um, oh, I'll just skip all the enemies, I won't fight them, I'll just get new armor because with Pokemon you can do that. You can essentially just uh, even with low level Pokemon if you have the type advantage uh, and if you have enough super potions and if you're uh, good at you know stuff like that, you can easily beat the game without. Uh, without uh, uh, training your Pokemon as much as uh, you probably should. Um, not much else to talk about uh, them for this level. We're almost at the end. And yeah, like I thought, well, maybe the Black Yoshi's in here. Nope, there's no Black Yoshi egg. Either that or maybe there is... Well, let me take this back. There might be a Black Yoshi egg uh, in this um, uh, level, actually. To be honest, I don't, I don't think there is, but there might be. Uh, I, I, yeah, I just realized this now. Uh, of course I'm not going to be able to find um, the Black Yoshi because it's not technically here. Because uh, I already had the Black Yoshi, he's just dead. Uh, that was the thing that annoyed me. Is like, you can't, like, for example, you can't find white Shy Guys unless one of your uh, uh, Yoshis are dead. You can't find, um, and you can't find black and white Yoshi eggs if you have the black and white Yoshi. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where this uh, black and white Yoshi is located. Um, if there are Black Yoshi is located, if there isn't this level, if anyone knows, be feel free to ask, but I know there is one, uh, in the next level. I don't know for sure if it's in this one. Um, I don't know, I'm trying the best I can, but I, it threw me for a loop, because I never knew that the Black and White Yoshis would never leave. It's like you invite them over for, uh, dinner, and they just stayed. It's like, yeah, it was nice having you for dinner. Can you, like, go home and not be here and eating my food all the time? I mean... You kind of eat quite a bit. You have a long tongue. That's a Yoshi. Watch out for his chameleon-like tongue. Uh, so, that's about all the time we have for Yoshi Story today. Uh, tune in tomorrow for more Yoshi Story. Uh, and this is Mega for 100 reminding you uh, to... Uh, to... Uh, wax your car.